Now to the latest on Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin after he went into cardiac arrest on the football field last night. Right now he is still in intensive care listed in critical condition. We have team coverage on this as well from how it could have happened to what comes next. Let's begin with CBS 2's Kevin Rincon who talked to doctors about how incredibly rare this is. Bill's defensive back, DeMar Hamlin, suffered a rare form of cardiac arrest. It's very unlikely that he had something wrong with his heart to predispose him to having this happen. What happened was instead the result of some incredibly bad timing. Hamlin was hit with the tackle that stopped his heart. That could only happen in a 20 millisecond window. Soon after he collapsed, first responders wasted no time getting an ambulance onto the field. The best thing that could have happened for him is to have chest compressions right away. What happened to Hamlin is described as a rarity with only 10 to 20 cases a year. To give you an idea on a model heart of where this happened, he was hit right here on the center of his left ventricle. Had he been hit anywhere else, this wouldn't have happened. If that impact happens during that very specific time, the heart can experience a ventricular arrhythmia and then a sudden cardiac arrest, and that is what we saw last night. Our CBS contributor, Dr. Nidhi Kumar, is a cardiology specialist, says the survival rate is around 58%. Preparing for something like this, that's mandatory in the NFL. Every team has to have a plan. Dr. Matthew Martinez is a consultant for the New York Jets. The focus should not be on anything other than the athlete. He praised the Cincinnati staff for their quick action during Monday night's game. He says in the coming days, we should start to get answers to some rather important questions. Does he have a problem with his heart? Does he have an electrical issue? Do we know this ahead of time? And then over the next couple of days, he will hopefully wake up and will assess brain function and then we'll have a better idea of how, of how this is going to unfold for him long term. For now, he remains at the ICU at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center as the family of DeMar Hamlin ask for prayer in this dark hour and continued support, which has been pouring in from across the globe. In East Brunswick, New Jersey, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News.